क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ लास्ट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटीग्रल 1 अपॉन a sin 2x plus b cos 2x plus c let us start with problem number 6 i is given as integral dx upon 1 minus sin 2x minus 2 cos 2x for that we know now that the substitution is tan x as t for that the value of dx is dt upon 1 plus t square the value of sin 2x is 2t upon 1 plus t square and the value of cos 2x is 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square. Now i will be 1 upon 1 minus we have sin 2x as 2t upon 1 plus t square followed by minus 2 into cos 2x is 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square into we have dt upon 1 plus t square. Now let us solve these three fractions by considering 1 plus t square as their LCM so that 1 will be multiplied with 1 plus t square. Therefore, I will be integral 1 upon 1 plus t square minus 2t minus 2 into 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square into we have dt upon 1 plus t square so that 1 plus t square will be cancelled. Now let us simplify the denominator in order to get a quadratic equation. I will be dt upon we have 1 plus t square minus 2t minus 2 into 1 will give you minus 2 and minus 2 into minus t square will give you plus 2 t square. On further solving we have integral dt upon t square plus 2 t square will give you 3 t square followed by minus 2 t and we have plus 1 constant left. With that we have minus 2. I will be integral dt upon 3t square minus 2t plus 1 minus 2 will give you minus 1. Now our quadratic equation is ready. The next step is we will take 3 common. That will give you 1 by 3 integral dt upon t square minus 2t by 3 minus 1 by 3. Now let us find the third term. Third term is equal to half into coefficient of t the whole square. That is half coefficient of t is minus 2 by 3. 2 will be cancelled. We have minus 1 by 3 left whose square is plus 1 upon 9. Now let us add and subtract this third term in the denominator. That will give you t square minus 2t by 3 plus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9 followed by minus 1 by 3. Now we can reduce these three terms and at the same time we will solve these two fractions. For that you can either cross multiply or you can take the LCM as 9. For LCM to be 9 I need to multiply these 3 with 3. Therefore, I need to multiply numerator also with 3. This will give you i is equal to 1 upon 3. Integral dt upon square root of first term will be t. Sin of second is minus and square root of third will be 1 by 3 the whole square. And this can be written as minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 4 upon 9. Now, we will write 4 by 9 as 2 by 3 the whole square i is equal to 
वन अपॉन थ्री इंटीग्रल डी टी अपॉन टी माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री द होल स्क्वेर माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री द होल स्क्वेर यू कैन सी आई कैन कंपेयर दिस इंटीग्रल विद द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म्यूला वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर डी एक्स एज इट गोज वन अपॉन टू ए लॉग ऑफ एक्स माइनस ए अपॉन एक्स प्लस ए प्लस सी Here the value of x is t minus one by three, and the value of a is two by three. Therefore, i will be one by three into we have one upon two a, and the value of a is two by three. Log we have x minus a, that is t minus one upon three minus two upon three divided by t minus one by three plus two upon three. Plus c. Here three will be cancelled, and we have one upon two into two that is four. Log of taking three as a LCM, we have three t minus one minus three upon three divided by. Again we have three t minus one plus two upon three. Three will be cancelled, and we have i is equal to. One upon four log of minus one minus three will give you minus four upon three t minus one plus two will give you plus one plus c. Now the last step will be resubstituting the value of t as tan x. Resubstituting. e as tan x therefore i will be 1 upon 4 log of 3 tan x minus 4 upon 3 tan x plus 1 plus c this is our final answer i hope friends you have understood this problem thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and subscribe ekida